Hello, I'm reviewing the OptiShot 2 Golf Simulator. The OptiShot 2 cost me about 300 bucks. The OptiShot 2 consists primarily of this little unit here, which is just uh, two rows of LED lights and indicators and readers and a golfing pad, if you will. And I bought uh, this mat that it sits with, which I didn't need to. I could have made one. But you really need something to get get to the same height as the OptiPad is. This pad I bought cost me about 150 bucks. So between the two, I have a, about 450 bucks in those two things. You need a notebook computer to operate this, and that's really all you need. You don't even need golf balls. You, you just need some clubs, and uh, the pad, and the mat, something like it. And you could be up and running. Now, you can opt to beef that system up some. And you can use real balls, which is what I do. And I made a fancy pantsy little uh, out of junk woods, something to hold the golf clubs right there real close by. And I mounted mine, or have mine hooked up to a uh, projector screen system, which uh, I made out of king size sheet and some painter's canvas drop cloths. Sewed those two together, mounted it on a iron pole that goes across, and uh, put some paint or uh, canvas on the ceiling, just protect the ceiling and the balls from kicking back at me too hot. Uh, they don't ever do it now. Uh, and uh, bungee straps, just to hold everything kind of flush and to give it the flex so that the balls will be, the energy will be absorbed. A little bit of wings on the side to prevent those wild shots, although uh, we never wild shot, of course. And it's this one's about uh, 12 foot wide uh, and about nine foot tall. My ceilings are eight and a half feet. That's the minimum. If a tall player that swings high uh, gets in here, he can hit the ceilings. So that's an issue. Uh, my whole system, along with the projector, the mat, and the simulator, and making this for about 50 bucks, that screen, I have about 920 bucks more or less in it. 